Last March was a time of jubilation for the VCU women's basketball team. The Rams enjoyed the best season in school history, reaching the NCAA tournament for the first time. However, for DeAndre Moss, the feeling was bittersweet. In a February game against UNC Wilmington, Moss landed awkwardly and tore the ACL in her right knee. She missed the rest of the season and had to watch VCU's NCAA tournament game against Rutgers from the sidelines. It was one of the hardest things she's ever had to do. It was... It was so hard because I know that I, I, like to, I like to think that I'll be out there and I can make a difference. Yeah. You know, some of the games that we lost, I feel like, you know, if I, you know, I don't know if we would have won those games if I made that big of a difference. You know, who knows? But just the fact that I couldn't be out there helping them, that only could do so much. I only could say so much and scream until my lungs would bleed and, and, and try my best to encourage them and let them know that we can still do this, you know, even without me. And, uh, you know, it was it's just, I don't know, you got to find different ways of, of being a leader, being a teammate. And, uh, you know, it really helps you grow a little bit, you know what I'm saying, become a better player because it's going to be times where you're not hitting all your shots, you might not be grabbing all the rebounds, you got to still be a part of the team. So I think that really helped me again since I've been through that again. So, you know, I was familiar with it, but, you know, try to be the best teammate I could be from the sideline. I guess. always disappointing to see any kid go down, um, you know, but it's part of the game and, and something that you understand the course of a season. Um, you know, one of your kids might go through. Um, but then to have somebody like Dee at that point in the season and, you know, we we're having such a great year and, you know, how critical she is to the to chemistry of our team, the impact that she makes for us. Um, she's like having another coach on the floor. Um, it was just really disappointing, um, you know, and I was disappointed for her to talk about a kid that wants to play in the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, it just, it, it, it hurt me seeing her sitting there on the sidelines. As debilitating as this injury is, it's not the first time down the street for Deandra Moss. Four years ago, as a high school senior, she tore the ACL in her left knee. She's finding that that experience is proving very valuable this time around. She had been through the process before. I think it was an advantage just because she knew what it was going to take to get back. Um, from a mental standpoint, she knew what she was up against. Um, so maybe it was a blessing in disguise just from that standpoint of understanding what it was going to take to have to get back to where she, where she needed to be. Um, but you're not going to find a more mentally tough, uh, physically tough kid than Dee. I was familiar with most of the exercises, except when I'm here in college, the, the rehab was, was way more aggressive. Um, as far as like cause the day after surgery, I was in the PT room tightening up my quad, doing leg raises. I'm like, man, are you serious? I'm like doped up right now. And you know what I'm saying? And you want me some leg, but it was really aggressive, but I liked it. And I had really progressed really well. And because of the prehab I did before surgery, I did some exercises before surgery. My range of motion was really good coming out of surgery. I had minimal swelling. So um, I was really familiar with some of the things, but I liked the aggressiveness that, um, that we had started with initially with uh, Tim over in the PT clinics. With her right knee surgically repaired, Moss is back on the court. And the Rams are going to need her now more than ever. VCU is looking to replace its two leading scorers from last season and Radoslava Bakvarova and WNBA first-round draft pick Quanitra Hollingsworth. You know, I want to see her come back and have a great senior year. And, um, you know, I want her to be a part of, you know, a, a CA championship here. You want her to be a part of uh, playing in an NCAA tournament and doing the types of things that maybe she missed out on last year. Honestly, what we have high expectations. I mean, I, I've, you know, being a senior, like coming into this year, I've had like a whole nother mindset. This is the last time I can do this, you know, and no one really knows how that feels until you are a senior. It's like, you know, you're not going to be able to do this again. You know, you're not going to have this chance again. So you want to leave something, you know what I'm saying? Do something maybe different to get some different results. And we've, I mean, we've been so successful last past couple years, but we have not won any championships, you know. We've yet to win NCAA tournament games. So we've, you know, we still got some, uh, some loose ends that we want to tie up. And um, I don't know, the passion and commitment from everybody here has been really great, especially amongst the scenes because I think we all know, you know, it's last time around. And um, I don't know, it's just been a long time coming. I still can't believe I'm a senior, like I just got here, but time flies by, I'm telling you.
Um, just a great kid to have in your program. I mean, really a teddy bear at heart. Um, you know, just very personable, just a great kid, type of kid that you want to have in your program. Um, you know, and, and somebody that you love to coach for four years. You know, we'll really miss her when she, when she has to leave here.